Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about GitHub Actions. I understand there are a lot of videos on uh, GitHub Actions when you go to YouTube or Udemy, but this particular video talks about crisp understanding about what is GitHub Actions, why GitHub Actions is really popular, and what are the advantages of using GitHub Actions, and then what are the different uh, components involved when it comes to GitHub Actions, and then you know how we can actually uh, create a CACD workflow for a very simple Java web app. So that is what we are actually going to talk about in this short video. And then I'm planning to upload more videos on GitHub Actions. We will take a lot of you know real-time use cases. We will talk more about on that. What is GitHub Action? GitHub Action is a CACD platform which is provided by GitHub in order to automate the entire task in the software development lifecycle. Let's say that you're working with a team, they are using GitHub. They don't have to go for any third-party CACD tool in order to implement CACD. So the, you don't have to go for Jenkins or CircleCI or Travis CI. You can use GitHub Actions itself in order to implement CACD workflow. And then the way you are going to achieve that is by creating a file called workflow ML file. Find all your tasks over there and then you would be able to automate pretty much uh, you know, the whole build process, deployment process, test execution process and whatnot, okay? And then GitHub Actions are completely event driven, meaning whenever, you know, developers are making any code changes, uh, let's say it could be git push or it could be creating a pull request or someone is, you know, forking your repository. So what you can do is, you know, you can, uh, you know, you can invoke the workflow when certain, you know, events actually happening in your repository. All right, great. So now let's try to understand the GitHub Actions workflow. So if you look at this diagram, so like I said, whenever some events happening in your repository, you can actually trigger the workflow, okay? So this is a workflow diagram, right? So some event happening, and then you know that event can trigger the workflow, and then your, your workflow is going to have one job or multiple jobs. Again, these jobs can run in parallel as well. For example, if you look at this one, the job one can run on runner one. Runner one is nothing but your actual VM or Docker container where the build is running. And then the job one can have like series of, uh, uh, you know, uh, events or actions, right? So like you can you can run a command or shell, shell script or anything you can actually run, you know, as a step. Same thing over here, job two, uh, like I said, it can run sequential or it can also run in parallel. So runner two also can be another a virtual machine or Docker container where the build can actually run. What are the advantages of using uh, GitHub Actions? So like I said, uh, GitHub provides this capability, right? So you don't have to uh, go for any third-party CACD tool in order to implement CACD. You don't have to use Jenkins or you don't have to use CircleCI or Travis CI in order to implement CACD capability. You can leverage uh, GitHub Actions itself. And then, um, Yes, you know, you're going to create uh, your uh, workflow uh, completely using AML file. So pretty much ready, right, even if you take Azure DevOps or if you take GitLab, uh, you can create your CACD, uh, you know, workflow by creating AML file. So again, uh, GitHub Actions also supports that, okay? And then like I said, you can run parallel jobs. You can also run sequential job. Uh, you can, you know, like like we saw in this diagram, right? You can, you can you know, save a lot of time by, by running your jobs in a parallel node on, on different, different runners, okay? And then the another great thing about it, you know, the reusable actions, right? So meaning uh, GitHub have their, all the actions declared in a marketplace. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you actually go here, so you all see here, right? Um, you know, that's the great thing about it, right? You know, a lot of action, they already created, uh, you know, all this code and all. All we have to do is, you know, just uh, select that, you know, action and then pick up the sample code and then you would be able to, you know, use that code uh, in your workflow document, right? It is as simple as that. So, so that is how, you know, they are kind of, you know, making these actions completely reusable. And then GitHub Actions also support wide variety of platforms. So they don't support like only Java or .NET. It doesn't matter, right? You can have any kind of a technology stack. You would be able to automate the workflow, uh, you know, by using GitHub Actions. And then, like I said, 
they also have uh, you know a github hosted runner and then they also have self hosted runner uh, so depending on uh, you know how you want to manage your vms uh, you know you can go for github hosted or self hosted okay and then of course last but not the least let's say if you are dealing with the uh, secrets you can also uh, you know use secret capability uh, available from github actions in order to you know uh, st store uh, or, or in order to secure your sensitive information such as password and then keys and what not right all right so so let's try to uh, look into the github actions so if you go to github so this is my sample java code and then if you click on actions so this is where you know you would be kind of you know running your uh, you know running your build and whatnot right so all you have to do is you know you need to create a workflow file so as you can see here i have already created this aml file so generally speaking uh, let's say you have a, a project configured in github if you wanted to implement github action so what you will have to do is you'll have to create this uh, directory dot github and then slash workflows and then you would be creating your uh, workflow aml file something like this okay so if i have to explain here so you can see here right so basically like i said uh, github actions are completely event driven so i have written here something like whenever there is a git push onto this repository i wanted to trigger this workflow right and then you can also specify what branch so this is my master branch so that is what it is okay then like i said your workflow has has you know how the event will be or how the workflow is triggered and then you're going to have a jobs your jobs is going to have you know bunch of steps okay and and then runs on ubuntu latest so this is actually my runner runner vm right like you know where, where the build is actually going to run and then these are the steps so if you see here this is like one of the step where i want to check out the code uh, since this is a java based application okay so this particular workflow what i wanted to do is you know i just wanted to uh, check out the code i just wanted to build the war file using maven that's all this simple workflow is a very simple workflow right so as you can see here this is going to set up jdk and then and this is another another you know you know action right which would actually uh, build the code using maven okay so once you write your uh, your your workflow aml file you can commit it and then if you wanted to execute so all you have to do is go to actions and then as you can see here i have run various job uh, and then let me just pick up this one and then you can see here right you can go ahead and then click on rerun all the jobs and then click on run jobs and what this will do is uh, this will go ahead and then you know run the workflow and you can also click on here in order to see the build, build output so as you can see here it already checked out the code uh, it also already installed, uh, you know, a JDK on the build agent. Now it is actually doing a Maven build. Wow. You all see here, I think the job is already ran. Build with Maven and then of course you can see uh, it is downloading all the, you know, dependencies on that build agent. And then we should be able to see go all the way down you all can see here it was able to build the war file perfect that's it right uh, it's, it's a very simple simple use case and then you can also see here how long it took you know time to execute that so it took about 25 seconds that's all you can see here the job trigger like a minute ago it took about you know 17 seconds right so yeah so that's it guys you know uh, so that is what github action is all about so let me do a quick uh, recap. So GitHub Action is a CACD capability provided by GitHub Actions in order to automate the task, what we do in the software development lifecycle. Uh, this is completely AML based and uh, GitHub Actions are completely event driven. So whenever some event happens uh, in our uh, GitHub repository and it can actually uh, trigger the CACD workflow, uh, GitHub Actions uh, provides the two different type of runners uh, you have self-hosted runner or it also has, uh, you, you know, uh, the GitHub runner. So depending on uh, the use, you can actually use it. And then it has various advantages, just we talked about. 
um, you know, you, we don't have to worry about writing code on our own. Uh, they have a marketplace where you can, you know, depending on what you are trying to do, you can easily get the code. Uh, so we don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? So yeah, so that's all about GitHub Action, guys. You know, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to cover a lot of uh, real-time scenarios on GitHub Actions. Thank you for watching.